girl paying fifteen hundred dollars for my rent this month. Maybe it's not it. Girl, now my candle coming out. back to my channel today's video is gonna be vlogmas day whatever y'all see by the screen i'm not sure what order i'm gonna be posting this in um today is actually december 6th i am gonna be vlogging today and uploading today because i have two videos ready for y'all but one video is sponsored like it has a sponsored portion in it and i need that to be approved obviously before i can post it and i had planned to post that today but yeah I'm just not uploading it right now. <laughs> so if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So I'm tired, I just gotta work today. Y'all probably saw me last cooking breakfast this morning. Um, that was at seven o'clock this morning. It's 2.19, I just worked a 12 hour shift last night. I'm extremely tired, so it's two o'clock. So today's video, y'all probably gonna see this by like seven o'clock, but I have a little to-do list today. Um, I forgot that I had my freaking card locked so my rent basically could not come out <laughs> so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have a freaking 50 dollar late fee i'm gonna call them and see um because on my account it says that i owe zero dollars but since it just happened i think yesterday um that it isn't like updated or whatever so i think i just gotta add 50 dollars to it which is annoying i keep forgetting to like unlock my card and stuff like that um so yeah i need to call them and then the other thing on my to-do list today is pay the rent and I got to go get a money order for that because after the 5th, you have to get money orders and stuff because you can't pay online um, because it's considered late. So I have to go get a money order. I need to call for my refund of $73 that I overpaid to um, the revenue office for my taxes and stuff. Um, well, my sales tax. I need to clean my car out. I need to get gas and... I need to call UPS and make sure that my address is correct because I'm getting inventory again from my vendor, y'all, who ordered on my Black Friday sale. Um, y'all, here is coming in this Friday, and my address, it, my whole address is on there, but it's also like my apartment number and like the my they put my apartment number, city and state, and then zip code first, and then under that says like my street address. I don't know, it's weird, so I'm gonna call them and make sure it's like correct so that there's no mishaps and stuff with this shipment because girl i don't got time um but yeah i'm about to call my apartment complex right now and then see how much i need to give them hopefully they can waive my fee but we gonna we gonna see uh, marcus i was calling to see um how much do i need to make my money order for my car was locked yesterday when rent tried to come out and I need to know, like, how much is the, I guess, fee for today. Okay. So you're looking to pay off your rent and balance? Yes, like, I need to pay my rent. My car was locked, so it didn't come out. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What's your unit number? Um, it's saying that you have a $0 balance. Yeah, no, it says that on my end as well, but it's not taken out of my account. Girl, Ooh! so about to pay $1,500 for my rent this month. That is so annoying, <laughs> like so annoying. So it is $50 and then they charge a $30 insufficient like ACH fee or whatever. Then girl, let me go get this money order and get them this because I'm not, I'm not about to do this today. Rent is too dang how to be doing this. So $14.96, girl. I just cannot. Okay, so I gotta go to Target 
to take my money out of my Chime account. Y'all know I got Chime. So I used to have Chime to be able to get paid early. So I just went and opened up a new Chase banking account. Um, I think I recorded, I don't know if I recorded that. Anyways, I, I have Chase. So I opened up another Chase banking account. Um, the one that pays you early. So I sent $200 to the Chase account and then I had the rest of my money go to Chime to see if Chase will actually, you know, pay me early and stuff. They did. So when I go back to work next week, I'm off nine days. So when I go back to work next week, I'm going to um just set my stuff up completely for Chime. I'm sorry. I'm like hot with this long sleeve on. It said it's 52 degrees, but it felt kind of cool because I got to go clean up my car. So I'm going to be outside. But... I'm getting a lot hot right now because I am a little heated. Not gonna lie, but whatever. Ooh, thirsty girl. Plus, I've been asleep for hours. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and go to Walmart first. I need gas like real bad. I only got like 40 something miles left. So I'm gonna go up the street to Walmart, get this free. Well, no, because I gotta. Ah, uh, okay. What time my apartment's closed, girl? Cause I need to get gas. Okay, they close at six. So I definitely want to be back home within like an hour and a half anyway. So I'm going to just go and head straight to Target and Chase. They're right there beside each other. I got 45 miles. So then I'm going to head straight to Costco, get gas. And then I'm going to shoot across the street to clean out my car. And then we're going to come back to Walmart and then drop that off at the office when I get home and then we'll be done because girl oh being, being an adult I don't know why <laughs> I used to try to rush this because baby it's not it like rent is insane I be sending them posts like what's that one bill that y'all hate paying rent like i don't i'll pay anything else but this rent why are we paying rent every 30 days like girl i just cannot so yeah okay i'm about to go to target get my money out of that account put it in chase then we're gonna shoot over to costco get gas yeah okay okay i got it i got it i got it i just cannot like i just absolutely cannot all right let's go because it's already 2 33 and i'm supposed to be posting a video at five o'clock today and y'all not gonna get this video to about seven eight but that's okay it's not gonna be that long anyway i was seeing like kyra um chelsea janae and all of them like their vlogmas and stuff and even um taja like their vlogmas has been like you know 20 minutes even chelsea janae her has been like 13 10 minutes like <laughs> I don't know i just feel like that's just too short like i get it people that's vlogging same day or whatever but girl i'm like i just feel like you know 10 12 minutes is just a short vlog <laughs> so but you know we're smarter not harder so that's why this vlog will probably be no more than about 15 20 minutes at most anyway so i'm about to go ahead and <sighs> get myself together because i just cannot i like to put this on here and then I need my wallet. My mama is, cause girl, this is just insane. And also I need to get my nails done. Cause I'm not going back to that nail shop cause one of my nails are already breaking off. Ugh, that's why I just need the, the thing is with the nail tech, I love going to her, but it's just like, when I be need my nails done, I be need my nails done. <laughs> but obviously quality, okay. Quality over quantity. So. I just got on this little shirt. I wore this in one of my other vlogs too. This is from Amazon. It's like a two piece. It come with the top and the pants, but I don't feel like wearing the pants today. So we just gonna do this. And pants are from Target. I already showed these in a vlog. God, I'm thirsty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little water bottle.
left Target. I am at Chase, obviously depositing some cash. I have 35 miles left on my car. So, now we about to go to get me some gas at Costco and then we gonna clean out my car. <coughs> and then go get a money order. All right, I will see y'all when we get to Costco. Hopefully gas is still like $2.50. Oh, baby, you don't got a lot. I get you everything. you want and you need for the give you a baby just yet. So I bet that it mud it on your breast. This is 258. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. All right. Time to go clean our car out. I have no idea what that spot is on my rug, um, but I'm gonna take my car to my dad because he detailed cars. They used to be his job for like 16 years, and he's just gonna get it out for me <laughs> because I have no idea what that even is, girl, and I'm not even about to try to get that out anyway. So when I be cleaning, girl, I be getting all up under there, okay? Okay. I do not know how my car got like this. Like, I just be throwing stuff in the car. I don't be taking stuff out. And some of this stuff actually belongs in the trunk as well. So I kind of just move all the stuff out of my trunk to put in my back seat to make room for my grocery pickups when I be going to Walmart. And I just had like a lot of notebooks and scrap paper and stuff like that that was supposed to be like all in this box or like all in the bag. And they just kind of fell out. So yeah, had, had to get my car together because she was looking, she was looking a mess, okay? But now, Diamond looks real cute. Real cute. How often do y'all um, clean out y'all car? And do y'all be cleaning out y'all trunk? I know some people just forget about the trunk and don't even care about it, but I like to vacuum my trunk out, make sure it's still in tip top shape. Um, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I like my car, I drive to point A and point B. So it's like, I really don't even know how my car be getting this messy because all I do is go to work, go to a few stores and come back home. So I know I normally do not use the all-purpose spray for my seats. I usually have like actual like wipes for the seat, but that's literally the only thing that I had. My seats was looking a little crazy because Prince do sit back there, his car seat and stuff like that. And I also had um, a few people in my back seat as well when we went to go to the casino for my mom's birthday. So yeah, and I just wanted to dust everything down, clean everything down, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So update, it's 3.52. I want to be home editing at three. Um, I got my morning money order. Um, I came to Kroger because it's like right here and I didn't feel like going into Walmart. I'd rather go to Kroger than Walmart. <laughs> but you can only get a money order for $1,000. So I had to get one money order for 1,000 and the other money order for $496. So yeah, that's that. Um, she told me to wait to fill it out until I get there just in case anything, you know, mishaps goes wrong, anything like that. It'll be easier to return a blank money order rather than filling it out and stuff like that. So I'm going to wait to sign it when I get there because I only filled out a money order one other time and I have to look on YouTube for that. So I'm going to wait till I get there to um, 
ask them how do I feel this out because girl, I don't even know. <laughs> and I'm hungry. All right, I'm back home. It's 419 and I'm supposed to be posting a video at five and I ain't even started editing this, so yeah. But I do got a box that I wanna open from Bath and Body Works. It just got um, delivered to, well, it got delivered yesterday. <coughs> this is stuff for me and some other people, so I'm not gonna be able to show y'all every single thing, just in case my fam is watching. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever, actually, yeah, I never, I've only ever got Bath and Body Works like a package one time before during Candle Day uh last year i didn't participate in candle uh day or days whatever this year um i had a 25 percent off coupon to use before like november 27th so i literally used that up so i got me some um soap oh i like the way it comes um i got champagne toast this is gonna go in my guest room because y'all know i still have pink in there and then i have another <laughs> champagne toast I got the um, foaming and then I got just the regular like gel hand soap cause I love the smell but I also wanted it in two different forms. And then I got Japanese cherry blossom. Hopefully my mom is not watching this because this is for her. <laughs> I don't think she be watching. I don't know, she watched some, it just depends but I got this for her. I'm gonna put this uh, just in her stocking probably. So with stocking stuffers, I don't really care I'm gonna be vlogging me going shopping for stocking stuffers. I don't really care to show stocking stuffers as much because our stockings is normally, like my family, we usually do the same type of stockings every year. So every year we know to expect like our favorite snacks, candy, um, like hair ties, cute, maybe like some scrunchies. Um, like it's always like the same standard stuff, like many like travel size stuff um, or like hand sanitizer, stuff like that. So it's usually, some years it's different. Like let's say I wanted an Apple Watch this year. And if I didn't have one, an Apple Watch is really small or like AirPods, the box is really small to where you can put that into the stocking. So that'd be like the exciting gift of like the stocking. So we kind of do that. Like every year our stockings is dang near always the same, but I look forward to it. Stockings is my favorite part. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to, um, I don't know if I can show this one or not. So I can't remember. I'm not gonna show this one just in case somebody that I bought this for watching, but yeah. Ugh, why are, they didn't cover these ones. Okay, anyways, I got some candles. So let's smell these. The candles that I bought, I have never smelled before. So I'm super nervous. I smelled one. The other ones I have not smelled before. So this one is Snowflakes and Cashmere. I love the, mm, I love the lotion of this, so I knew this one was gonna smell good. Absolutely love. It's a cute little um design on there too as well, that's different. So love snowflakes and cashmere. The next one I got, and I know I can take these back and get like exchange them. This is called Snowy Peach Berry, Sweet Peaches, Tart Cranberry, and Sugared Musk. Mm, okay, so the people, they were saying that this smells really nice, and it does. It, you can definitely, I feel like I more so smell the tart cranberry, and then it's like sweetness. Okay, somebody was on there, they was like, I don't know why this candle was so hyped up. It's not all that. Girl, it definitely smells good. <laughs> and then the last candle that I got is... Definitely one that I've never smelled before. How do I open this, girl? There we go. I ain't gonna get my nails done real big. Okay, this one, why I feel like it's broke? Girl, now my candle coming out. Uh-uh. That's ratchet. Look, the candle is literally moving. Okay. This one is called Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. Okay, ooh, ooh. Mmm, let me make sure ain't none of my nose like the last haul I did smelling stuff. Mmm, okay, 
This, y'all know I be going crazy over them oatmeal cookies at Dollar Tree. They be like a dollar, dollar twenty-five. Girl, why does it smell just like them oatmeal cookies? It says cinnamon sp spice vanilla. But oh my gosh, it smells like, if y'all have had them oatmeal cookies, or go get them, please, smell them. And go buy this candle or go to Bath and Body Works and smell this candle. I swear to goodness, this smells just like opening a pack of them good old oatmeal cookies. Mm, oh my gosh, yes. I'm putting this one in my room. And I'm so excited to have more candles um, because I was running low. Like, baby, I don't got no more candles left. And I like to get... See, Bath and Body Works is definitely overhyped. I like a few selective theirs, but also I like to buy candles from like TJ Maxx Home Goods because I'll get big, huge candles from Home Goods, and it's only like $15 for a candle like this big, like this wide and this big. So that's why I really love going outside of Bath and Body Works. But if I have a 25% off coupon or like if they candle's $9, then of course, like I'm gonna go get some. But yeah, definitely I like to go to Home Goods and stuff because they definitely have a lot more candle selections and they're usually bigger so you get more bang for your buck or the um the at home store their candles is bigger than bath and body works and they're only 10.95 so yeah all right i'm excited i love all my candles i'm super glad because buying candles online is like really super tricky and especially if you don't really know the scents that you really like in your home then yeah oh my gosh that smells just like my oatmeal cookies all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this japanese cherry blossom in my mom's stocking and then these two are mine and then everything else is mine so we're gonna drop this in mama's stocking I feel like she already got some up in here she must have not took some out last year oh no I put something in here okay <laughs> I got I already put some stuff in there all right so we're good um JC well my man already took his out um, I had put that Apple Air tag in there. Nikki already got one thing in there. Prince don't have anything. And Donna, she has one thing up in there. And then I need to go. I should have went. Oh, I was writing. I should have bought wrapping paper today because I need the wrap base gift. So I guess I'll go buy some wrapping paper tomorrow. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing for today. Um, it is 427. I had a productive little day. Um, I'm probably about to cook me something i don't know what i want to eat because i do need to be editing this vlog for y'all as well um let's see the finished product of my food will not be in this vlog um okay i got some chicken do i want to make like some chicken wings i kind of want like some lemon pepper wings with like some potato wedges that's kind of what i'm craving right now because that'd be real quick to cook and then I can pop this up showing y'all. So my options with my chicken is I have, I like to cook my chicken in air fryer um, cause I don't really know how to fry chicken all that well <laughs> just yet. So with these, I got one, two, three, I got six. So what I kind of want to do is just use either like three of these and then I always chop them up so I can have a drum and a flat. And then I like to make either lemon pepper wings or just like hot spicy like wings and then i have potatoes so then i usually just make potato wedges because i don't really want to cook an actual meal because i wanted to cook a roast today but tomorrow me and bae are going to be celebrating our um anniversary our anniversary is the eighth but he's not off on the eighth he's off on the seventh so we're going to be celebrating tomorrow and then obviously i'm going to be recording a cute little date night get ready with me and stuff like that and that'll probably be out by like saturday um but yeah anyways i don't want to cook a heavy meal because tomorrow we're going you know out to eat for dinner and stuff and i'm not going to be able to eat my leftovers that day and me i can't really just eat leftovers you know too long so i guess i'll just cook some chicken wings because i do need something real quick anyway yeah so i don't know yeah i don't know what i'm gonna eat because i can make a pizza real quick and then i still have my chick-fil-a nuggets i'm gonna do nuggets we're gonna do them chick-fil-a nuggets and then i'm gonna cook some uh, i'm gonna make my own fries out of my potatoes that's what we're gonna do and i need to make some space for my air fryer 
That's exactly what we gonna do, girl. And I need to clean up my kitchen a little bit because we just did a deep clean and I don't want it to get back messy. What I've been trying to practice was when I wake up, I'm trying to start making my bed as soon as I get out of it or before I even leave the house. I would like to have my bed made. It's made right now. So the other thing that I'm trying to practice is to not leave dishes in the sink. Like even if it's like a cup, spoon, whatever the case may be, um, either put it in the dishwasher or like clean it right then. So this is what I ate this morning. I had breakfast, so I'm gonna clean that. I gotta put my air fryer over here so it can reach the plug in. So I've been trying to practice that every morning. Just small little bitty habits to um, kind of just keep, you know, the house looking good and just kind of give me structure because I am about to be off for nine days. And I was thinking like, when I do end up finally like leaving my hospital job and stuff and like just working for myself, whether that be just like content and like my business and stuff, it's like, I'm gonna have to have my own discipline, you know? Like people can have, that's like a lot of people I was asking like, what motivates you? What motivates you to do this, this and that? It's like, girl, I got all the motivation in the world. It's just the discipline and the consistency that be kicking my tail. So yeah, I'm trying to do better with that and just get into those habits of actually like making my own schedule and sticking to it because when you clock in for a job like you clock in you know what you about to do like you clock like i clock in 6 30 i know i'm gonna be here for 12 hours i gotta do this this and this and this and this every four hours i gotta do that i gotta run on the patients every two hours so it's like why not have that same structure for myself because when i leave that structure it's just gonna be me like ain't nobody like i'm my own boss ain't nobody about to be telling me a carry get up and go you know go do this go do that record it like no so I'm trying to get in that mindset, in that habit of just, you know, structure, <laughs> basically. Wake up, make my bed. Don't leave no dishes in here. Wash them, put them in a the dishwasher. Um, trying to get back in the gym starting this week. I'm off nine days, so I literally have no excuse. I am a morning gym girly. I feel like more so now, um, just how I'm getting older and, you know, just different things like that. So, yeah. I'm going to write me down like a little list and stuff of how I kind of just picture my everyday going. So therefore, let me see what I use to cook my wings on. I got a little cheat sheet over here. My wings, I do 370, 380 for about 25 minutes. So let's do 25 minutes. I'm going to do 370 first and then maybe turn it down. Oops. And I gotta pee, that's why I can't stop moving. 25 minutes, we're gonna do 370 starting out and start. But yeah, that's all. Um, I'm about to cook my food, edit this video for y'all, and I will see y'all tomorrow in my next vlog, miss. So bye, guys. Oh, hold up. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, girl. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers and all the love and stuff. Thank you guys so much. Yesterday, well, today at work, I was reading my um, comments since I just posted the 30K vlog, whatever. And some of y'all was like, I hate got y'all teared up and stuff. Girl, I didn't rewatch it and got myself crying again. But y'all comments is really, really sweet. Never going to notice. I tried to either heart y'all message, respond back to y'all, whatever the case may be. I tried to interact with your comment on Instagram and YouTube some kind of way. So if I did it, I'm sorry. I just put out an overall thank you. What's some of my lens, girl? Okay. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.